A video release showing former President Chen Shui-bian strolling leisurely in a courtyard would seem to suggest the former head of state has taken well to his new surroundings. Justice Minister Yung, Sung Yung fu said he allowed the release of the video to refute reports of Chun's deteriorating condition, although some believes it violates Chun's rights to privacy and patient confidentiality. That's all that, From this video footage, former President Chen Shui-bian looks steady as he strolls about the garden of Taipei Veterans General Hospital. He doesn't need anyone to assist him, and his left hand does not appear to be trembling. These video images are in stark contrast to the footage shown by Control UN members a few days ago. Justice Minister Zhang Yongfu was being questioned by KMT legislator Lu Shui-zhang when he presented the footage. Just look at the video. It's completely different from what the private medical team described. Chen Zhizhong, Chen Shui-bian's son, believes the Justice Ministry has a motive for releasing the footage. I think that inside the ward he has fallen more than four or five times, which must have been recorded on this 24-hour surveillance video. I asked the Justice Ministry to make these images public. Sometimes people with Parkinson's disease don't always have their hands shaking. I don't think it's fair for the Justice Ministry to show footage of people under their care. It's setting a bad example and is trying to deliberately mislead the public. Chen's private medical team made a visit to Taichung Prison's Peta Hospital, where it expressed dissatisfaction with the video release. Announcing details of a patient's illness requires consent of the patient or the patient's family. These people are not medical personnel, so how can they so casually criticize the president's previous diagnosis? This could be a violation of the Medical Care Act. The Justice Minister, however, feels it was necessary to release video of Chen's condition to refute reports of his poor medical condition. He does not feel that it represents a violation of medical confidentiality.